We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning with two of our favorite guys, Chef John Granada and TV maitre d' Joe Cena. Tis me. Tis we are me. here. Good morning. Thanksgiving is upon us, and you are going to show us how can to make you, a, a great uh, a great stuffing. Can you believe next week is Thanksgiving? I was just saying to someone, it seems like we were just celebrating New Year's, Valentine's Day, and now we're already here. Well, a lot of people are panicking right now about what they're going to do with their turkey. So what I figured out is I'd come on the show and show you a couple of different things that we could do. Um, this stuffing is, is based on a classic also an Italian and the bounty of what's available right now uh, with the apples and cranberries. Right. We have sweet sausage and we're going to do a classic chestnuts in it. Okay. Okay. So and it's going to be really easy to do. And what I, what I did was I'm, I'm also going to make uh, what's called a cranberry mostata. Mm -hmm. Mostata is a condiment that comes from northern Italy that goes with meats and things like that. And we're going to do a little twist on it and give like an alternative to just regular cranberry sauce. If this time of year comes around, everybody has their favorite recipe to make stuffing. Is right. this something that you've always made in your family? Is this something that no, you make no. the restaurant? No, I, I love messing with different stuffings. Right. I mean, that's kind of like my thing. Um, we also have done, in the past on the show, almost every year we've done different stuffings. So you can actually archive back onto your website mm -hmm. and find probably four different recipes that I've done with stuffings. So um, if you don't particularly think that this one matches, then maybe you can grab one of the ones from the past and so we've we've put just about everything. This can go in the bird, or you can make it so separate it, right, right. and right. just put it in the oven. The whole deal like right. that. Okay. Just always remember when you stuff the bird to make sure the temperature is is proper. You have to be up to about 165 degrees in the thermometer with that. So I'm a great bird stuffer. You're great. You stuff the bird. Okay, yes. great. Uh, what what's the sausage kind of sausage we have here? Sweet Italian sausage because I don't think I mean unless you like the heat. You know, maybe somebody else don't. That's that's the problem when you're doing Thanksgiving. You're cooking for a lot of people, so you want to keep everything on a, on a level. Status quo. Right, level playing field. All right, good. All right, it smells great in here. We haven't even started cooking yet. We are going to get our stuffing going. He's got a big no, spoon. Is... He's ready to go. Back to you. <sighs> we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. We are getting ready to uh, to begin making the stuffing, putting everything together, because Thanksgiving is next week. What are we going to do? Yep. Uh, what we're going to do in this segment is we're going to show you how to make the mostada. Though. All right. Uh, the mostada is... Uh, is an alternative to cranberry sauce and what's good about this is you don't have to make it spicy the real way to make this would have like a little um, almost Chinese mustard kind of after thing going on we got uh, about a cup of water and we have two cups of sugar okay yep. I got about a pound this, and a half of cranberries this yes. is really a great thing you know you talked about Thanksgiving as right. opposed to that congealed junk that I like that can. stuff I, you know what I was, oh. I was going to tell him. What am I going to do with you? I know he's a pro you know you guys are professionals and everything else. I yes. don't want to be the one to admit it. I like the a stuff. Lot I like a lot of people do. A lot of people do. But but, this but the is point so is delicious. that this could really show you if you went home and made this tonight, you could really show that you cared, <laughs> that you really care. They would be giving thanks. Yep. And then really? they'd probably open the can up and say this is better. But when you're not looking, but no. Um, so anyway, we got the cranberries in here. All right, we're going to bring this to a boil okay. together. Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these mustard seeds. I got about a, a tablespoon of regular mustard seed. Okay. Yep. I have two tablespoons of Coleman's dry mustard. Now, mm -hmm. if um, if I was thinking ahead of time, I would have used the hot mustard for right. this. Okay. But this is probably better around the holidays. You can so zip it up. Right. Okay. I mean, All right. Yeah. Give it a little kick. So to the... to make that a little hotter, what I do is I put about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm which has the white wine in it, All right. some fresh thyme, some orange zest, about okay. a teaspoon of orange zest, and, and I'm like going to take, jelly. I'm gonna take the know. juice of one orange. Don't be a hater. <laughs> 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 All right, he's cooking this up. We're going to mix everything. We're going to get cooking in just a little bit. My mouth is watering. Just and I'm going to show you the finished product. All too. right, we're going to show the finished product just a little bit. Back mine too. <laughs> Oh, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, getting in the mood for uh, Thanksgiving because stuffing is what is on the menu today. Yes, we are stuffing. We are stuffing. So, um, what I have here is I have two cups of cornbread, mm -hmm. right here, and I have two cups of Italian bread, which I tore up. Okay. Okay, so I have um, a pound and a half of sweet Italian sausage. I have one onion chopped up. White onion. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And some celery. Great. So in the pan we put that. I also have two honey crisp apples. I particularly like the honey crisp because they stand up well. Okay. Any apples in particular that you would stay any? away from? No. No? No. Nope. You, you can anything. use any apple okay. you want. Italians call this agrodolce, sweet and sour. You've right. got some nice sweet things and some sour. It's a beautiful little 
blend. Good combination. Yes, yes. I have some dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. How pretty that is. Beautiful. The star Good of the show colors. is one jar you can buy like this mm -hmm. of all natural chestnuts. Okay. okay. I like them whole this way. I can chop them up to my to, to mm -hmm. any way that I like them. So they're not roasting on an open fire. Exactly. They're just sitting in a can. Right. In some houses they are. Is this pan big enough for all this? You're I don't just think it's. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. All right. We got some fresh sage. I mm -hmm. like to use about a tablespoon chopped up. Beautiful. And what flavors. was that? Some garlic that you threw in and there. A, and always, always big. Always. Garlic. Right. All right. A little bit of salt. Mm hmm A little bit of pepper. Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook down. I'm going to put a little bit of chicken stock in it. Mm hmm and we're going to put it in with this. Now, okay. you could stuff your turkey, <clears throat> or you could bake it in a casserole, or you could actually carve out a pumpkin and bake it right in the pumpkin. Oh, that's not a nice idea, idea huh? Too. Yeah. So, I don't think many people think to do that. Right. Now, Beautiful. ironically, I believe that the gentleman you had on earlier, mm -hmm. his wine would go pretty good with this, right, Joe? Absolutely. You know what? Or, yeah, or I'll tell you what. Okay. We're we talking about a little wine well, now. We're talking about wine. Bob, yeah, Bob let's Burke's get to my it. friend for over 30 years. I love Beaujolais Nouveau, and every year it's great to see Bobby. Of course, he came in and gave me my bottle. This is yeah. a wine, believe it or not, red wine. It will go well with turkey because it's a new soft wine. Okay. And and it will not offend anything. We don't want it as the chef says offend the turkey. Don't right. offend the okay? turkey. Now I love I love Beaujolais, mm -hmm. but I have this little thing on our American holiday that I like to have American wine. It's All just right. a little thing. Many people do it. Go America. So we are going with Napa Cellas Pinot Noir. Now here's another red wine. You see this white meat turkey and you go, what is this red wine with that? I don't get it. Yeah. Pinot Noir is actually the ideal wine to pair with turkey. You'll find this anywhere. This is a $20 wow. bottle of wine. Find it at Gasparro's and many other places. Mm -hmm. But what's nice about it is it is medium body, it's very fruit forward, and it's got a little bit of acidity. So what that means is the turkey it won't overpower it, but it will stand up to look at all these flavors I and everything it. else. The vegetables, uh, turnip, your favorite, mm -hmm. butternut I squash. Like, yeah, I like turnip. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I say Pinot Noir is my number one choice okay. to complement your turkey dinner. I like now, that. Now, I want to tell you one other thing, Michaela, that you'll be sure. happy to know, as will our viewers. Ask the chef. CamillesOnTheHill.com. Chef Granada, tell us about that. Okay, there is a link on our website that you can go to that says Ask the Chef. Mm -hmm. And I decided that um, I answer a lot of phone calls anyway, so um, you can go to that link anytime after Monday until about 12 o'clock on Thursday, and any emergency questions you may have, I'll be glad to answer What's them. What's better you. than that? Awesome. Nothing. <clears throat> All right, for the sake of time, quickly tell us how this is going to come okay, together. Okay, so this is going to go into here. Yep. We're going to mix it all up. We're going to add about some cheese in a there. A cup and a half of Reggiano. Now you want Reggiano Parmesan because right. you don't want the you don't want the sweetness. You want to mix this all up. All right. So we're going to give that a mix, and we're going to see the we'll uh, the finished product. I will try this little cranberry thing. There you mm, go, right here. Mm. If you want all these recipes, head to WPRI.com.